Hi guys, and welcome to I Am Responding. Daniel, I'm going to go do a quick run through of I Am Responding and its features with the new dashboard you may see down here in the corner. Uh, check out the new custom IAR display screens here. You can click that and you can check it out. Uh, however, let's go through and, and check it out here, and I'll just give you a quick little overview of what's going on. Some of you may or may not have been brought to this screen when you logged in recently or the new screen. All right. So I'm going to show you if you come in to log into your I am responding and it has the old screen here on the top right. You can click try the new IAR and you'll be brought to this screen. It looks busy, but really at the end of the day, it does have all the same features that you had previously. It's just laid out a little bit differently. Just think of it as a slate and you put different little tiles in place depending on what you want to see. All right. So. Let's just ignore this area right here uh, for right now because I want to just show you the information. You have a menu up here where you can go right to the dashboard. This is how if you went to a responding screen, you can go back to your dashboard. Before, you used to access your schedule right off your main screen. and You can still access that schedule from the actual screen itself. Administrative functions. If you're an administrator, you'll be going in here a lot, and you can get that right from the home screen. Uh, you can go in and edit everything you need to do there. If you do not have administrative functions, obviously some of that stuff is still going to be limited. You can go in and view the help, like you always used to go in and help. Department resources. So if your department has resources loaded in, you can view it here, as you always were able to. And then you can always go back to the legacy dashboard. Not sure the timeline on how long it's going to like stay there, but I know it eventually probably will go away, depending on time, but not anytime soon. Another menu item that you can click up here is this little gear. Keep in mind that gears, anytime you see a gear, it usually means settings that you can set up. So anytime you see that, it usually means a setup issue or setup uh, options. So you can click your display mode to be... Uh, day mode, night mode, personally I prefer night mode, it just looks a lot better in my mind, but you can put it as day mode if you want. Scroll messages, you can turn scroll messages on, so the pre-programmed message that you have in scrolling messages will always go across the bottom. Keep in mind we also have it in a message window here, but we'll show that in another video. Display member profile picture, each member actually can upload their own profile picture if they'd like now, and you can put it right in here. If you go and turn it off, it'll go away. Turn it on, it'll go ahead. A little avatar image will come right up there. And even what you assign the person, for instance, if their color on the map is to show is yellow, it will actually have a yellow ring around their picture. If they're uh, indicated by black on the map when they're tracking, same thing. You're going to skip over edit dashboard right now for the response codes. And you can go in and see what your response codes are. You can print the list. Just like you would in the other one. And then you can actually print the data so you can print what you've seen on the screen. So if your department uses this as a sign in sheet, for instance, if you check in and then require them to sign afterwards, you can actually print that off right from the screen as well. I'm going to go to the edit in a minute, but I want to go back to the dashboard. And then you go over here, and this is your actual profile settings. So you want to see your tutorial. So it'll actually walk you through a tutorial. If you go down, and you can actually go directly to edit your profile without having to go through administrative functions, going to the drop down and then selecting it that way, it literally just brings you right to it. And this is where you would add that image right here. You could also, for instance, change uh, your color of your car and show it on the map. So if you update that, and then you go back to home. It should actually change my, there you go, my ring is now red around my avatar. And finally, what you've all been waiting for is edit dashboard. You can have an emergency and a non-emergency screen here. Or you can add different tiles if you want, or up to five pages. Keep in mind, you cannot toggle to your emergency mode when you're not in the edit mode. It only goes into emergency mode when you actually get a, a notification come through. So that's basically how you add these tiles. You can add your now responding tile, mutual aid on duty, incidents, map, apparatus status, weather, which is kind of cool. That's new. Uh, and a custom image if you'd like. 
Um, this is all stuff that you can do and edit and move around. So if you want to move it a little bit differently, but I'm going to show you that in a little bit of a more in-depth video coming up here on I Am Responding. Daniel, one final thing I didn't show you how to do is you can actually change the scheme on the color scheme on your um, I Am Responding. Personally, though, uh, I still like the dark mode, and you can always just go back out and select your uh, display mode as night mode or dark mode. So that's it. Uh, I wanted just to quickly show you that. Uh, and we'll be back at you in a little bit with a little bit more of a video. Thanks for watching.